Okay, here's an, our first example for logarithmic differentiation. Find y prime for y equals cosine x raised to the x power. For x is between 0 and pi over 2. We'll talk about that restriction when we're finished with the problem. So if you look at this, I do have some function with a variable in it raised to a variable power. So this is why logarithmic differentiation will be um, the thing to use here. I need this x down in front, basically. So if we follow the steps that we have um, for logarithmic differentiation, you know that the first step is to take the natural log of both sides. So I get natural log of y equals natural log of cosine x raised to the x power. The reason why we did that is so that could move down in front, which is step two. Natural log of y equals x times natural log of cosine x. Now here we are. We know how to do all of these. Um, we know the derivatives to all of these. If you take a look at the right, though, we do have product rule we're going to have to deal with. That's okay. So, on the left, the derivative of natural log of y, 1 over y times y prime. On the right, let's apply the product rule. We have the first term times the derivative of the second. The derivative of natural log of u is 1 over u, so it's 1 over cosine of x, times the derivative of u. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine x. I'm putting parentheses around that so I know it's a multiplication and not just a subtraction, plus, we'll finish the product rule, the second term, natural log of cosine of x, times the derivative of the first, which is just 1. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. I'll leave the right-hand side, excuse me, the left-hand side as is. On the right, what do I have here? Negative x sine x over cosine x plus natural log of cosine x. Okay. Our next step was to solve for y prime. So I'm going to multiply by y on both sides. Remember on the right hand side you're multiplying the entire right hand side by y. So make sure you have parentheses in the right place. And let's see, on the left we have y prime. On the right, we have, well, let's see. I'm just going to rewrite it as y times, how about negative x tangent of x? I don't know if it's too early to change that to tan tangent or not. We can change it back if we need to. Natural log of cosine of x. And the last step was to substitute to eliminate y in the final answer. y equals cosine x to the x power. So we'll plug that in there. And I get y prime equals cosine x to the x power times negative x tangent x plus natural log cosine x. And I think that's all I can do. Kind of a nicer way to write it would be to put this term second here. I think I will. It doesn't really change the look of it much. I'm also going to put it in brackets so I don't have so many parentheses. So net positive natural log of cosine of x minus x tangent x. There we go. Now, before we move on to this problem, let's talk about why this had a restricted value for x. If you think about um, taking the natural log of both sides, the natural log is a function that doesn't exist um, for all values of x. Natural log of x is only valid when x is greater than 0. Let's jot that down. Natural log of x is only valid for x greater than 0. So because of that, since we're taking the natural log of cosine of x, we have to make sure that cosine of x is restricted to x values greater than 0. Okay? So let's jot that down. So cosine x 
also has to be restricted to um, x greater than 0. And if you think about the unit circle, where is x greater than 0? That's going to be on this side, and for cosine, we just restrict it there from 0 to pi over 2. I can't go from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 because I can't have negative values of x. So that's how I that's how um, we came up with x is restricted from 0 to pi over 2. Okay? Alright, the next video will have the very last problem, which is the big one.